Many sneaker YouTubers out there review fake sneakers and they're about to be exposed. Panda Buy, a major player in the counterfeit sneaker industry, recently faced a surprise raid by Chinese authorities on its factories. Many speculate that Nike might be involved, especially considering their past actions against the content creator closely associated with Panda Buy. While it wasn't unexpected for Nike to pursue legal action against someone on US soil, the involvement of Chinese law enforcement in raiding a fake sneaker factory on Chinese territory is truly astounding. This is too wild. Nike is out for blood. But if you think about it, it does make a lot of sense. Their stock has been on a brutal downtrend. They had their first digital decline in nine years bro they are making less air force ones that's like mcdonald's coming out with a statement saying that they're gonna make less big macs well th that's a bad comparison because you can just order a big mac you know what i mean the old money that was there before is no longer there and nike is looking around like what the fuck happened where is all that money and then they scroll on tiktok and see a bunch of kids posting how to order from panda buy tutorials and they're like panda what no. Who are you? I've been asking the same question. Adding insult to injury, approximately a week before the raid, Panda Buy fell victim to a cyber attack orchestrated by hackers Sangiero and Intel Broker. These threat actors proudly proclaimed their success in breaching the Panda Buy online shopping platform, exposing the personal data of over 1.3 million customers. How many famous influencers and YouTubers are on the list? It's probably gonna take a while for some of them to pop up since there's 1.3 million accounts but could you imagine what would happen if your favorite sneaker youtuber who you thought had authentic sneakers suddenly gets exposed what no the stolen information uploaded on a hacker forum currently up for grabs for small crypto payments by any registered members includes full names of customers contact details such as phone numbers and email address login ip and order details country of residence home addresses and zip codes if you google you can find some of the names of random kids who ordered a bunch of reps but the list looks like it's straight out of matrix a panda buy employee brushed off these concerns dismissing them as mere rumors and denying any occurrence of an attack in 2024. However, Troy Hunt, the founder of HIBP, verified that 1.3 million email addresses are indeed valid. Despite the evidence Panda Buy has not publicly acknowledged the security breach, Hunt has confirmed suspicions of their attempts to conceal the incident. Troy Hunt tweeted, apparently they're blocking the word breach. Can anyone else get a response from them using different words. He also tweeted, comments captured by someone else certainly looks like they know something has happened. Many Panda Buy supporters are insisting that the raid never occurred, but WTR has confirmed it's happening and Reddit admins have pinned this article in every threat to corroborate the event. The raids began on Thursday 11th April at Panda Buy's headquarters in Hangzhou and six warehouses operated by the company and its network partner We Go Buy. The raids involved nearly 100 people including law enforcement and agents and followed legal action from 16 right owners alleging that the company is harboring and shipping counterfeit goods well that confirms that this was nike this is believed to be the first time a chinese shipping agent has faced such action and when reddit admins pin something that's it. These six warehouses were 110,000 square feet and took about 100 people to conduct these raids. That's just as many government officials as the Diddy raids. Yo, how fucking big are these Diddy mansions? What the fuck is going on? This comparison is the biggest flex of his entire career. I stumbled upon an intriguing Reddit discussion about this entire situation that I wanted to share with all of you because Nike's pursuit of replica manufacturing is sparking a heated debate. User Pitar is awesome. Oh, wrote, reading this article pissed me off. It gets into a bunch of BS about the quality and safety of reps. Night quality is terrible and they try to sell it for $200. Make five pairs, let resellers get all of them and let the price balloon up to $400 plus. Then the user Chef Prod responded, I see your point, but I don't fully agree. While some brands might overprice their products, not all of them prioritize profit over 
lower quality. It's true that the unbranded items can offer similar quality at a lower price, but for some people, brand recognition and style might be worth the extra cost. And then user large peach 2358 came with the Nas Ether at Jay-Z response. All the brands repped are targeted at kids, 13 to 20 year olds, who don't even understand quality. They are literally made for the hype and priced accordingly. There is no brand being repped that is, was centered on the foundation of quality. All the rep clothing brands are a thousand percent hype beast stuff. I've never ordered reps, but I know that I'm extremely lucky to be in a position where I don't have to do that and I don't have anything against people who purchase reps, especially kids, at least if they're honest about it. But I want to know your opinion. Are you cool with purchasing fake sneakers or are you against it? And which famous sneaker YouTubers do you think are on the list, if any? All right, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment something, whatever, so you trigger the algorithm. I'll see you on the next one.